Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Ruben and on this channel we make all kinds of how-to videos explaining and showing you different ways to get good results out of your floor covering. Do uh, small carpet uh, tool reviews and stuff like that. And on this video I want to, I've got multiple videos on that, but I want to demonstrate this crane uh, stand up cutter. I've not had the opportunity to do this on a wood subfloor. Everything I've ever used it on has been on concrete. So here on this commercial job, let me turn around, we are tearing up some glue down carpet and we're working on wood, a wood subfloor. And uh, the thing about this crane stand up cutter, yeah, it sure is, Jeff. So this point right here, let me look right here. Over here, first of all, this whole first run right over here on this side this whole 12 foot run all the way down this wall i cut with my knife because i did not think that this was going to work because of that point right there i figured it would have dug in the wood so i didn't even attempt it i just cut it with my knife but however i do have an old tip in there so if you can see let's see here you can see how it's got a little flat come on focus there see how it's got a little flat point on it right there where it's kind of ground down from working on the concrete see that right there so that is actually sliding over the wood really good. I want to give you a little demonstration there. On how that works. I'm just going to cut some of these real quick. And just let you see the ease of this rather than crawling on the floor. I know you guys have seen that multiple times on concrete, but I wasn't aware that it was going to be so easy and so uh, precise on wood as it does on the concrete. So I was really thrilled really thrilled to see that it uh, works so good on a wood cell floor. And as a matter of fact, this is, uh, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess it is a plywood rather than the chipboard is what it looks like. It's kind of, uh, no, as a matter of fact, it is an OSB. So it's even a chipboard. It's not even a smooth plywood. So, and that's really nice to see that it's coming over uh, a chipboard this easy and this freely. And one other thing I wanted to point out real quick, if you can see how I got all my carpet took up, I got all of this section took up, all of this section here took up, and all of this section here took up. Come a little bit closer to this one a little harder here. So what I did, you can see all the debris and stuff on top of this commercial carpet here that is not took up. See right along the edge right here? Right along the edge, we got a whole bunch of garbage right there. So what I did, I took all of this and I would pull this front up and land it on top of this. Pull that next front up and land it on top of this. And over here on this side, I took this run of carpet, this 12 foot run here, and pulled it on top of this. What I'm doing, I'm minimizing where all my garbage falls. That way I don't just have garbage all over the whole floor. So now that I'm down to my last run, now I am eliminating and getting this all over still. I'm just taking it and see right there, look at all this garbage. See all the garbage, how it just kind of runs to the edge, see that? So what I'm doing, I'm just kind of pulling it back and what it's doing is dumping it on my very next piece of carpet that's down, it's dumping all the garbage that was on this piece, I'm pulling up onto my next piece of carpet. Now on the end, where my end is right here, where it's fixing to hit the basic subfloor, there is going to be a little bit of garbage, and I'll show you that in just a second. But, see that? So for the most part, all of my garbage, all of my debris and everything is staying right here on my carpet, and I'm keeping the, keeping the floor pretty good and clean. Let me show right here real quick. So this is the end of my run right here. You can see this is where each... <laughs> thank you, Jared. I appreciate it. This is where uh, each one of my ends of my carpet is ending you can see right here in this one one spot here i got a little trail of debris and that's okay look throughout this floor it is really nice and clean i can see something right up there all of this is all good uh right here on this one end where i took this very last piece up by the wall i got a trail of debris right beside where the edge of this very last piece come up outside of that 
all of my debris i'm pretty much able to manage it and keep it where i want to so everything is staying nice and clean okay so i got uh i got the owner's uh i got the owner's permission here to do uh live streams on this job so i can kind of keep you guys filled in on what we're doing and stuff so this room here this is getting carpet here this great big room let me flip this around again where are you running from <laughs> this great big room here is getting carpet these steps are getting carpet here this is lvp and all of this out here this area this little landing right here plus the steps is going to get carpet you see down there the landing right at the bottom when you walk in the door is getting lvp but outside of that everything up here that you see uh down the hallway this little room there's two bathrooms right there that is getting lvp here and here it's kind of dark in there right now and this room right here is getting carpet so basically everything is getting lvp click together kind and this is coming up really nice so i was really thrilled to see that this is coming up nice this is uh i haven't even measured this room i think it's about 40 foot i think so this and then this all this is pretty much wide open there's absolutely nothing in this whole building so this is going to be a real really nice convenient job i'm really glad to have this job anyway i wanted to point those few things out about say hi jesse luke this is my nephew. He's giving me a hand here today. Yeah. <laughs> on, uh, I wanted to make this point about the crane carpet cutter here, how it works really well on the wood subfloor and how to manage my garbage and keep it from getting all over the rest of the flooring there, all over the glue, because everybody knows that the glue is definitely hard to sweep stuff up when you get it in them ridges and stuff like that so that's a real easy way to manage your debris and have minimal clean uh cleanup on a on a job okay i just wanted to point that out i got a lot to do here i didn't get started here till about probably about 3 30 or so because i didn't get here till about three where i was finishing up another job there in manchester and uh my talk to the owner for probably 30 minutes or so after i got here so ain't been working too long maybe a couple hours max so i need to get back at it i just wanted to point that stuff out thank you guys for tuning in i appreciate it thanks again jared i appreciate you buddy and uh fbsb is out